Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Noting. In this episode, I'll be testing out the latest feature of Grease Pencil in Blender. So basically being able to interpolate between strokes automatically. So let's get started. So this is not always uh, the most obvious features. So let's uh, let's see. Shift A, create Grease Pencil, blank, and draw something. And when drawing, I like to make the strings 100%. And we can start doodling um, here. Uh, let's maybe, okay, again, it's asking for keyframes. This should be on by default, I think, for Grease Pencil. So I'll just gonna doodle my snail. Well, anyway, sometimes, sometimes I actually prefer uh, like a tick, like a tick strokes. So I like to make the stroke like much thicker from here, or actually from the radius up here. Maybe just do it here, 40. Oh well, anyway, we got the strokes, and maybe, maybe we draw something else over here. So we are creating another stroke. Um, now, if we actually open up Chris Pencil, Dop Sheet, we can see we have two keyframes. So it's not interpolating by default, of course. Um, and you cannot do it over here, so you need to actually do it here inside the draw so we have two keyframe there we can interpolate sequence from here <clears throat> so that's shift command e okay shift command e so if we do that it try to interpolate but we need to also control the smoothing iterations type of interpolations from here okay the stepping actually that's really interesting we can have every frames or just uh, the in between so now we have this so i think this is really cool even though it's a kind of like random looking interpolations let's try actually something simpler like uh, let's say you have another smiley so it's a one two three four strokes and i will draw another smiley face but i'll do it the opposite way so now what's gonna happen so we don't have interpolation here so it's a it's a pop popping into this drawing <clears throat> and then the last one draw interpolate sequence uh, okay yeah maybe did I draw the strokes differently maybe I did but anyway we have we have these strokes uh, to play with so um, Let's make the radius maybe 70. Let's try making a character. I have a feeling that maybe it's a good idea to actually just copy, copy this keyframe and then make modifications on the second one go to edit mode and try to deform this I'm trying to think I think proportional editing will do the job Oh, 
Oh well, maybe just deform it slightly. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a tool for this. Draw field erase cutter interpolate. Okay, interpolate. What is this interpolate? Seems to be this one also adding keyframe in between. is uh, pretty interesting um, but what do I care about Chris Pencil so much because maybe we can hook it up with something like geometry nodes it's not always obvious but we need the help of sphere top nodes because I don't think geometry nodes read Chris Pencil yet so if I switch to uh, sphere top let's save this very quickly GPSV GM So with sphere top, we can simply shift A and then GP second one. Just grab the grease pencil. Use the frame info, plug this here. Now we have strokes. We have actually points. I'm kind of wondering actually with the grease pencil, it's also have modifier and uh, noise modifier so you can you can randomize the positions and the noise so unfortunately this this modifier doesn't work with square chalk one doesn't work with the square chalk maybe it could be possible but for now just leave it so the grease pencil now is converted into points in real time by square chalk on top of that, of course, you can mess viewer and it just simply merge all the dots. I'm merging the vertices and edges being generated using Spreadshop as a single object's geometry. So now we can actually operate on that. I think this is pretty cool feature. It should be just um, a built-in thing. Of course, this has its own limitations, but still, this allows you to create something like this. And in fact, you can randomize on the fly uh, the vector, for vector positions of this can be randomized slightly. Oops, copy this. See, now we have wiggle, slight wiggle. So, create a value frame, plug this into the seed. Huh, okay. Hey, it doesn't like it, okay. Okay, that's better. So grease pencil interpolations and of course geometry nodes points to volume volume to mesh so this is actually really quite powerful so currently what's missing here is of course uh, the radius and also the limitations like i said if they are too close together it's gonna it's gonna merge into one instead of keeping everything separate but i think in order to keep separate you can also use multiple multiple geometry nodes if you want so for each strokes we can tell sphere chalk don't don't merge everything turn off merge so we have separate now separate uh, separate geometry 
for each one of them, we just link the modifier. Oops. A little bit like that. So they are not merged. You know what I mean? So yeah, of course, Grease Pencil itself, uh, Grease Pencil, if you look at the material, it has strokes and fill. I kind of wish that uh, we can separate them in a way. So you can add, of course, you can add a fill. And you can fill it with color. Let me put this to the side. So this is stroke with fill color. Of course, it's filling the, the arm area. We're supposed to, maybe not, we're supposed to separate the strokes and the fill material. So we have uh, two completely different materials. And then I kind of wish from Grease Pencil is more connected to geometry nodes somehow. Maybe in the future version of Blender or we can always use something like Square Chalk or something. Okay. So this guy haven't got geometry nodes. I just link the material, uh, the modifiers. Now it's, uh, it's kind of working correctly, but it's not working correctly just because just because the uh, the data is actually changing on the fly there. This is pretty interesting. But again, if we keep this um, the same same strokes, we can interpolate and we can have this happening for us. It's very cool. I think very cool uh, method. By doing this, we create a geometry that we can bake, and also this is also something that can cast cast light. And I always think this is a little bit like clay. We use if we use the proper matcap cavity of maybe not cavity. I just get rid of some of the density by just making it low resolution. This guy, okay, <laughs> we also need to do smoothing. I always have to do this manually. This should be automatic. Now it's a little bit nicer. You might notice there are maybe too, too much resolution there around the eyes. So we should go back maybe to stretch off and reduce the resolution here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. We actually need that. Select all, select all the strokes, select this one, Control L, copy modifier. So I think yeah, we successfully convert this guy. Well, at least with the snail it works. Alright, so you get the idea. So this is how you convert one, uh, you convert grease pencil into points, into volume, into mesh. So hopefully you find this interesting, useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.